we go. Hi, uh, my name is Gina Reiner, and today we're here to celebrate and say goodbye to Elmer Walter Murray. He was uh, born in Healdsburg in 1912, Christmas Eve, and he's lived in the same house on Healdsburg Avenue for 100 years. And we're making this a big deal because Walter was the truest uh, gentleman, kindest, compassionate uh, soul. He loved helping uh, the homeless, but in his days they'd call them hobos and tramps. And his mom and dad, uh, they always, when hobos and tramps came off the uh, railroad right here, and they'd make their way up Hillsburg Avenue, his parents always had a pot of beans, bread, a pot of coffee on the stove. And uh, Walter carried out that tradition um, to this day. If, if a homeless person came to knock on his door, he'd go out and like, give him some work to do and then give him some money or give him some food. And uh, he cracked the code to happiness because the most important thing in his life was family and friends and uh, his faith. And he was a simple man. Uh, he never spent any money. And he told me uh, when he asked me to plan his funeral, he said he wants a big whoop de doo And I said, okay. And so we started working on his funeral plan in 2007. His grandfather, Sage Nickerson, who fought in the Civil War, was also buried by Fred Young and company, so it's very important that we use Fred Young. His mother, um, she, her flowers were pink, so everything on the casket and at the church is pink flowers. And the vendor he picked, uh, uniquely chic floral, because Barbara's mom had taken care of Walter's mother's funeral. And then the horses, the carriage, it all represents Old Healdsburg, April Lance, Dana DeRico, uh, Glenn Benjamin. So we did this to show our love for Walter so that we could say goodbye to one of our town's elders and the, the last one of his generation. We want to celebrate him and we want people to know that what he stood for and that in our lives, we can do the same thing. He's a gentle reminder. That's why we're doing this today. Mi nombre es Augurio Bielma. Um, soy su jardinero de Walter Murray. Um, he trabajado con él por 25 años. Yo conocí a Walter en 1991 y buscando trabajo en la calle de Hillsborough y lo encontré trabajando en su orilla de, de su casa y le hablé y me dijo, le dije que si quería, yo quería trabajo y él me dijo, sí, yo te puedo dar. Y hasta ahorita he tenido 25 años con él trabajando. Es todo lo que tengo que decir. Es un hombre muy, muy buena persona. Desde que lo conocí, gracias a su experiencia que él me dio, lo he respetado, lo he, he trabajado con él muy bien. Williams. I've known Walter about 27 years and one of my fondest memories is his wife Helen died when my son was three years old. Um, went to see her many times in the hospital before she died and after she died he had a friend Maria and they were pretty close and one day he called me and said where are you and I said I'm working out here at the school. So he drove out about six miles and he said Maria wants to get married, what do you think I should do? And I was very honored that he would include me in the decision of, of his life, some big decision of his life like that. Um, he said he really didn't want to and so I really didn't have to answer the question or, or uh, push him in any direction. He kind of answered it himself. 
but it was just a great honor to be that close to Walter that uh, he included me in a lot of things of his life. Hannah Harlan and I'm going to tell you how I feel Walter. Walter was a very wise man and I loved all the stories he used to tell me of when he was younger and when he'd come over to our house for pasta and when he helped me paint my bedroom. It was fun spending time with him because I learned that like it doesn't matter how many years you've lived, it just matters how you live them and Walter lived every moment of his life being a very wise and just thoughtful man and I really appreciate that about him. Hello, my name is Amarika Raffinelli. Um, I've known Walter since I was eight years old, so about 10 years now. Um, and Walter was, um, he was a favorite in Hillsburg. Um, I got to interview him for Gina Reiner's Enduring Spirit Project when I was eight. Um, and that was just such an experience for me. And I, I, he was just a really special person. I think he, um, he was an extremely dedicated and um, had a great sense of what, um, what it means to establish oneself in a community and really give back to that community. So we're gonna miss Walter, but he um, was quite instrumental in defining what Hillsburg is today and how we know it.